Space exploration is no stranger to challenges, but few stories capture the spirit of perseverance like the recent mission of China's Drow A and Drow B spacecraft. Despite a critical launch failure that left them stranded in low Earth orbit, these two spacecraft have defied expectations by successfully reaching their intended lunar orbits. This video will explore how these spacecraft overcame a near-fatal setback, why this mission matters for the future of space exploration, and what it reveals about China's growing capabilities in deep space operations. The Dro A and Dro B spacecraft were launched on March 13, 2024, with the ambitious goal of entering distant retrograde orbits Dro's around the Moon. These orbits, which move in the opposite direction of the Moon's rotation, are highly stable and critical for long-term lunar missions. However, shortly after liftoff, the mission encountered a significant problem. The Yuan Zheng 1S upper stage, tasked with propelling the spacecraft from low Earth orbit LEO to a translunar trajectory, experienced a malfunction, leaving both spacecraft stranded in LEO. This malfunction was more than just a hiccup, it was a critical failure that jeopardized the entire mission. Without the proper trajectory, the spacecraft were unable to complete their primary mission objectives, which involved testing new technologies essential for future lunar exploration. The challenge now was monumental how to salvage the mission when the spacecraft were in the wrong orbit, with limited fuel and time to correct their course. The mission team faced a situation that could have easily led to a total mission failure, but instead, they initiated a bold recovery operation. The first objective was to stabilize the spacecraft's orbit. Using the onboard propulsion systems, the team began raising the spacecraft from their unintended low Earth orbit to a highly elliptical orbit. This was no easy task. It required precise calculations and flawless execution. A single error could have resulted in the spacecraft being lost entirely. The situation was further complicated by the fact that the fuel intended for scientific operations was now being used just to get the spacecraft back on track. Despite the considerable challenges, the operation was a success. The spacecraft's new orbits provided a second chance for reaching the moon, demonstrating the Chinese space program's adaptability and resilience in the face of unexpected challenges. This initial phase of orbit correction set the stage for the subsequent maneuvers that would ultimately save the mission. It also highlighted China's growing prowess in space, as they navigated one of the most challenging recovery operations in recent space history. Once the immediate threat of losing the spacecraft was mitigated, the Chinese mission control team focused on the next critical phase, getting the Dro A and Dro B spacecraft into a translunar trajectory. This phase required a series of complex maneuvers, each building upon the last. The spacecraft, now in highly elliptical orbits, needed to be precisely timed to take advantage of the moon's position and gravitational forces, which would help them achieve the intended distant retrograde orbits. The first critical maneuver involved executing a series of burns using the spacecraft's remaining fuel. The first burn transitioned the spacecraft from highly elliptical orbits to translunar trajectories. This maneuver was crucial, as it placed the spacecraft on a direct path to the moon, a path that had to be recalculated due to the initial launch failure. The timing was critical, missing this window would have meant certain failure. However, thanks to meticulous calculations and a high level of coordination, the spacecraft began their journey to the moon, with their final destination being distant retrograde orbits, which are highly stable and ideal for long-term lunar missions. As the spacecraft approached the moon, further adjustments were necessary. The mission control team executed another series of burns to fine-tune the approach, ensuring that Dro A and Dro B would enter their distant retrograde orbits as planned. By March 26, 2024, data indicated that the spacecraft had successfully made the transition to these orbits, marking the end of a successful rescue operation. The success of this recovery operation cannot be overstated. Not only did it save the mission, but it also showcased China's growing expertise in deep space navigation and operations. The fact that these spacecraft were able to overcome such a significant setback and still achieve their mission objectives is a testament to the skill and determination of the Chinese space program. 
This mission also serves as a key milestone in China's broader lunar ambitions, which include establishing lunar navigation and communication infrastructure critical for sustained exploration. The successful rescue and recovery of the DRO A and DRO B mission holds significant implications for the future of lunar exploration. First and foremost, it demonstrates that China has the capability to manage and recover from in orbit anomalies a crucial skill as the complexity of space missions increases. This capability is particularly relevant as China looks to establish a long term presence on the Moon including the development of lunar bases and infrastructure that require precise coordination and advanced technology. One of the primary objectives of the DRO A and DRO B mission is to test high precision relative navigation technology. This technology is essential for future lunar missions, particularly those involving multiple spacecraft or lunar bases that require precise coordination and communication. The successful execution of this mission, despite the initial setback, suggests that China is well on its way to developing the tools and techniques needed for sustained lunar exploration. This not only supports China's immediate goals, but also positions them as a key player in the broader context of global space exploration. Furthermore, this mission underscores the importance of adaptability and innovation in space exploration. The ability to recover from such a significant failure and still achieve mission success speaks volumes about the progress China has made in space technology. It also highlights the strategic importance of lunar exploration, not just for scientific discovery, but for the broader geopolitical landscape as nations race to establish a presence on the moon. As China continues to push the boundaries of space exploration, this mission serves as a clear signal of their growing capabilities and ambitions. This mission also raises questions about the need for greater transparency and international cooperation in space. As more nations and private entities pursue lunar exploration, there will be a growing need for collaboration and shared information to avoid conflicts and ensure the peaceful use of space. The DRO A and DRO B mission, while a technical success, also serves as a reminder of the challenges ahead in this new era of space exploration. It highlights the need for clearer protocols and communication channels as humanity ventures further into the cosmos. In this video, we have learned about the journey of China's DRO A and DRO B spacecraft, which overcame a significant launch setback to reach their intended lunar orbits. This mission not only showcases the resilience and innovation of China's space program, but also marks a significant step forward in the quest for lunar exploration. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.